Hey there, everyone, this is Al Goblin Super Mario Galaxy, and uh, 117, man, there's three stars left. Third star, like, basically, yeah, star number three from Molten Core, and uh, two friendly little uh, comet, and I can't help but notice that there is indeed uh, a friendly little silver comet right up there in the garden, Daredevil. So I didn't fight a boss, right? As of now, Daredevils have been exclusively bosses, I reckon. So this looks like it's gonna be like a stage, uh, like a level segment. It has to be mastered uh, without, like, taking any hit. I mean, that's interesting. That's a little bit different. Can't wait to look at it in a strange angle and then fall down the stairs. Uh, accomplishing nothing. <laughs> Where did that go? What's going on? All right, right here in the back. Yeah, Daredevil, it's silver. Silver's Daredevil. You know, because when you hire a Daredevil to do stunts, you dip them in silver. So they get a nice sheen. You want them to shine brightly into the eyes of your enemies. Lava Spire, Daredevil run. Lava Spire, so the climbing rock tower zone? It is. Okay. All right, so suddenly falling into lava becomes lethal again. Oh, and it's the whole thing. So it's straight out a whole level of don't get hurt. Well, I don't know. There might be alterations done to things, too. Like, don't assume, but, I mean, that's the reading I'm getting. Well, no, yeah, because, like, lava spire. That's what I did yesterday. Was that with but these looks like to be the blocks from the day before so it is well I know yeah this is a bit different I think in terms of shape maybe maybe it's just like a best of both worlds or like just like all the parts from both places all right well, we're gonna take our time you know that whoa I thought you were closing there mr. flame it's just pure luck that I ended up being kind of like on the side yeah I got experience with you mr. flame gout uh, Scouting out the flames! Uh, Alright, so there's the volcano that you can fall in and there are looms to be found. Uh, yeah, I, I I don't know, man. I never went inside because I thought, while I considered going to the volcano, I just didn't think that it would actually be meaningful. That's my story. It's very disappointing. Okay, so here I gotta be careful, but also I'm not trying to do anything, so... Oh... But look at that though. All right, yeah, so. Gotta wait until the flames calm down between these planets. Tiny little planets that are being built right now in front of your eyes. Yeah, that's what birth looks like. All right, and now we are sent to the wet dog no zone. Not for very long though, there we go. Flying through space and then a flame just gets <laughs> I feel like there are games I've played where that would happen. Uh, Alright, this is an upturn UFO and that's here. Okay, yeah, see, now we're here. I remember this from the yesteryear. See, yeah, like, we were in like two days ago. Shoot! I didn't... I thought those were rocks. Misinterpretation. I'm assuming there's no midpoints. It's like, yeah. Like, like, for this to make sense as a concept, kind of can't have midpoints. So there you go. Shoot, no! I, by the time, I, I didn't think there was fire between these two. Yeah, by the time I saw the little flame build up, I was already in motion. I guess maybe I could have, like, retracted the, I don't know, or just spun to cancel it, maybe.
Alright, so. Don't get hurt in a dumb way, if you can help it. If you can help it. I mean, like, you know, if, if, if it can't happen, it's fine. Get out of here. Alright, so let's take our time here. So this is two. So, you know, I think I... I mean, I just did this yesterday. This is not the world's most complicated thing. Alright, right here. The last one's going to be at the end. Getting another one up. Whoa, wait a second. Like, we are, like, right... I didn't notice this was, like, right smack dab against this fiery surface here. Maybe it wasn't and it just kind of changed place. Anyway, here's the last part. I gotta be careful, and it's the scary part with, like, a time limit. Because we're gonna have some, uh, sinking or rising. I'm not sure which of the two is the one that happens, but ultimately it doesn't matter all that much. Alright, there doesn't seem to be any enemies per se. I would love to have the ability to move, thank you. Alright, so yeah, don't waste any moment. Assume that everything wants you that. Alright, so they are little tiny guys, but you know, it's like, whatever. Little tiny guy, uh, just kind of there being on fire. Okay, so we do still have rocks, which you can fairly easily just kind of like walk past as long as you do not hesitate. Alright, that's gonna fall. Uh, there we go. A bit of the old wall jump while the lava just magically catches up. As it does. There we go. Whoa, yeah, alright. Just no, don't. Oh, that was a bit too close for comfort. Alright, you can spin here and get, uh, get Sarbit. If you need any still, somehow. Oh shoot, I, I'm like, I'm walking against walls and stuff, and I'm kind of slowing, slowing myself down here, which I don't want to do. I want to grab that star and go. Hello, how's it going? And so I did! I like this level. I like this level a lot. It's, I mean, sure, it's a replaying thing, but I like how they merged two stars together in something that was pretty interesting. And, you know, it's a, it's a marathon, except when I'm used to the concept of a marathon, <laughs> it tends to be so much longer and so much more involved. This was, this, this was cute. I liked it. It was dangerous, but it was never scary. Yeah, I think that's the big difference. All right, no, no big perps that have appeared, but like, I don't know if the big perp is contingent on the third star, so. Fair enough, I guess, we'll see. Uh, here we go, here, fiery dino piranha. Oh wait, so this is the return of the first boss. Look at that, they had a, they had a boss and they didn't daredevil that boss, like, I like that. Alright, so we got ourselves a level, it looks like. Here we got it's still starting at the same place, but remixed. Oh, and we're gonna go inside that place. Got it. Yeah, so I'm not trying to really get looms anymore. For better or for worse. I mean, I just literally will not have a use for them anymore. Whoa there, Mr. Fiery Column, that for some reason I associate with Kirby 64. Alright, well, that's a long title. It's not very effective at oh jeez, oh jeez, uh Alright, yuck at that save! Uh oh, no, you're supposed to go on it to bob the thing that's above it. I messed that one up. You see, like I see those, and I still am tempted to just kind of stretch out my phantasmic appendage and just kind of nab things, because it's fun. Turns out that is fun. Alright, so we go here on this piece of flam, hop on same king piece of metal. The flames kind of come out and in order to say hello. Oh, hi. Oh, that did not work. Okay, what we're gonna do instead... So my plan was to wall jump all the way there. I don't know if I can pull that off. So instead I'm just gonna do the much simpler... Do a little flip. <laughs> Keep it simple sometimes. Keep things straightforward. Alright, shortcut to the sunken UFO. Leads us right here again. Alright. But what are we trying to do this time? Um, good question. Oh no, okay, so was it always this kind of song against the thing? Me, is this a kill room? Is my goal to destroy all the little guys? Because I'll do it. I, I don't want to do it, but I'll do it. You know, it is my duty as the Mario to just kind of fall in the lava. That's, that's not it at all. But these guys give money every time, so it don't matter all that much. Uh, hey buddy. Whoa. 
well, yeah, that's right. So, you know, there's a delay between spins where you can't spin. It was a kill room. Mario must destroy. Otherwise, his rage builds up and it may, you know, it might come about uh, at a moment that is not uh, geopolitically convenient. All right, this is real neat. Okay, I think this is moving, except it's like everything around me that's moving instead. Also getting huge Rayman Legends vibe. I don't know why. I think it's the shape of the flames. I love them though. Oh, it just looks so rad. All right, well, there you go. Yeah, 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 like, we can clearly see here that it's moving. But something about everything around me made it just seem so... I've seen this exact structure before, but in what game? Mario 63. Yes. That Flash game. Yeah, absolutely. There's a wheel with platform, and they had me to go get... Whoa, 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 whoa! Okay, so yeah, he was running forward there in a panic, and I almost kind of re-ran right back in the lava. Yeah, it was exactly that, except it was, um... Silver Stars, but I mean... Silver Stars and these non-Silver Stars are essentially the same. It's just that, um, you know, like, like, it's just the end result is different. Like, you, you're gonna get a pull star rather than the end of the level. And here we are, well, now pull star or a charge star or the equivalent of a DKC barrel, basically. All right, missing one somewhere. Gonna ride this out. Look at that. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, this is me riding it out, apparently. It's not a pretty sight. I don't know where I'm going, so maybe I should just ride a platform that looks relatively safe. Oh, there we go. Look at that. It's kind of here. Wah! Perfection has been achieved. That's what perfection looks like. It's kind of disappointing, it turns out. Oh, shoot. Uh, rude. Oh, shoot! Rude! How do I get that? Stop running, Mario. Whoa! Whoa! Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. All of that was calculated. <laughs> oh, my jump there just did not... What the hell is happening? Okay, I'm interacting with things in ways that I don't think I will. I think it's because... Is the wheel spinning there? Like this massive wheel where the level was set on. Did not look like it was spinning at all. Alright, so all of these are gonna fall. That's just what these things do. I mean, they kind of fall pretty quickly, too. All right, so yeah, you, whoa, uh, oh, okay, I didn't see that star immediately. Man, I'm getting a lot of stuff. All right, you want to sell me products, noted. I mean, like, I'm one, one health off. I don't know if that's really that important, but egg zone! You did it, Mario, you started just kind of, you know ending this extremely short life so yeah I'm gonna put a thing in that and that's gonna create money I can also just get money so well all right that was dumb um was it dumb well okay so there you go hit the hard spot and break the egg look at that dinosaur horse plant flower you're on fire so yeah like I'm not sure what are the so it's just it just kind of switches around. Sometimes it's on fire and sometimes it's not. You just gotta time it. Like, I'm assuming your leaves are not literally leaves and just kind of look like leaves. They're imitation leaves for some kind of evolutionary purpose. Maybe you exclusively eat bugs and, you know, bugs come over to try to pollinate your face and then instead you get breakfast. Uh, nature is beautiful. <laughs> All right, I am nowhere close to where I need to be to make this work. Like, like you're kind of running too far away now, buddy. Pursue me more effectively, please, child. Uh, yeah, because like you are going so much faster than I. Oh, there you go, perfect. Right in your face. Oh, you lost all your plumage on your head. Uh, also, your life. <laughs> Maybe that's related. Uh, that's just a bit too mean. Uh, Look at that big old spinny star in the middle of this planetoid. What's well, not in the middle, it's on top. Is it on a pole? I'm assuming that because that's where the camera was, but I mean, it didn't have to be. I cannot see the magnetic poles of planets, neither in real life nor in video games. Weird. Oh, yeah. answers Mario, followed by yeah. 
And the last star I'm ever gonna do tomorrow is gonna be a purple. It's gonna be 120. So, uh... I don't know what kind of purple it's gonna be. We're gonna find out.